the Sultan Suleiman ran out of patience. Hiram Sultan would guess who killed her eldest son. Shahzade Bayezid, along with his four sons, needed to flee to the Safavi dynasty. The absolute victory of Hiram Sultan. The execution of Mustafa. The execution of Ibrahim Pasha of Parga allowed Hiram Sultan to place her own man, Rustem Pasha, in the position of the great vizier. Thanks to the support and lobbying of the influential Hiram Sultan, Rustem Pasha was able to quickly rise through the ranks and even become a son-in-law of the great Ottoman government. For his loyalty and constant support of Rustem, Hiram was able to marry him to the only daughter of Mihrim A, and therefore securing the position of most loyal ally. Rustem Pasha was actually a tool in the hands of his powerful mother-in-law, without whose approval he would never have made any progress whatsoever. Hiram Sultan had influence over Suleiman, and the question of where her sons should have been sent to study politics and governing. So thanks to Hiram's efforts, Shahzade Mustafa was removed as governor of Manisa and transferred to Amasya. Mehmed, Hiram's eldest son, was named governor of Manisa in his place. Similarly, Suleiman indicated which of his Shahzade, Ottoman princes, he saw on the throne. In case of the Sultan's death, one of his sons would quickly get to the capital and take the Ottoman throne. But since Manisa was the closest to Istanbul, the chances were greatest for the Shahzadeh in that province. According to Ottoman tradition, all of the Shahzadehs received education for leading the country by being governors in an imperial province. The Sultan's oldest son was usually the governor of Manisa, or the Padishah close to the worthiest. So each Shahzadeh dreamed of ruling Manisa. Likewise, Ottoman traditions dictated that the mothers of the heirs to the throne after their positions as governors was issued, would leave to watch over them. However, Hiram Sultan dared to break tradition here. After her sons were named provincial governors, she stayed in Istanbul and continued influencing on the empire's internal and external politics. However, Mahidaran Sultan was angry at Suleiman and Hiram. She lost support for Ibrahim Pasha and decided to make a desperate move to save her son and get him on the throne. One of Shahzade Mehmed's confidants, Yanakar Ilyaz, sent by Mahid Devran, injured the heir during sword practice. The wound was sufficiently deep. To heal, the Shahzade crafty Yanakar suggested a healing salve which would help him quickly heal. However, that salve contained abrasions from people sick with smallpox. The unlucky Shahzadeh became infected and died soon after. Overcome by grief, Hiram and Suleiman buried their son, erected a mausoleum for him, and renamed a mosque that was built by the famous architect Sinan in his honor. Hiram Sultan would guess who killed her eldest son. However, she would not find any direct evidence but she would still swear to return the favor to Mahidevran Sultan. As a result of the conspiracy between Hiram Sultan and Rustem Pasha, as well as several careless moves by Shahzadeh Mustafa, the Sultan Suleiman ran out of patience. He ordered the execution of his eldest son. Shahzadeh Mustafa was strangled in his father's tent during another of his campaigns. However, as with the case of Ibram Pasha, Hiram Sultan very subtly pointed the Sultan to a growing conspiracy, both from the side of the vizier and his oldest son. At the moment of his execution, Shahzadeh Mustafa was already 38 years old. When Suleiman took the Ottoman throne, he was 26. Shahzadeh was beloved by the people and the Yanichars who swore to his loyalty and called him Sultan Mustafa. Suleiman, although already old, was not ready to leave the throne to his arrogant son since he had three more sons with Hiram Sultan. Therefore, Sultan Suleiman executed his son, attempted to halt the Yanichar rebellion and maintain peace. After the execution of Shahzadeh Mustafa, there were two remaining heirs to the throne, Shahzadeh Salim and Shahzadeh Bezid. Shahzadeh Jiangir was not an heir because of a birth defect which caused him physical pain. Unfortunately, as a result of the prolonged illness, Hiram Sultan 
died without seeing her son on the throne. <laughs> However, the red-haired sultana entered into history as the matriarch of the female sultanate in the Ottoman Empire, where women had enormous power and influence on internal and external affairs. Hazaki Hirem Sultan's sons, Selim and Bayezid, competed with each other from a young age. Now that they were competing for the throne, they began fighting to the death. Bayezid, upset by the execution of his favorite brother, Mustafa, understood that the throne might be left to his older brother, Salim. So both Shahazadeh started gathering allies. By order of the Sultan Suleiman, Salim and Bayezid, to avoid internal conflict, were sent to far-off provinces. However, Bayezid refused to follow the order. Sultan Suleiman understood this action as a rebellion and announced his support for Salim. The armies of the two brothers fought near Konya. With his father's army support, Selim defeated Bayezid. Shahazadeh Bayezid, along with his four sons, needed to flee to the Safavi dynasty, where he asked Shah Tamas for refuge. However, after long negotiations, he was handed over to his father, Sultan Suleiman, and executed with his young sons. So the Ottoman throne, after the death of Sultan Suleiman, was taken by Shahazadeh Selim, the red-haired son of Hiram Sultan.